Hey everyone, James and Mark here with another video. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button, answer these three questions in the chat. Where are you from? What's your favorite food and how did you find us? My name is James, this is Mark, and we film videos every Monday, 6 p.m. Pacific time. Welcome back to another live stream. And happy MLK day. Yeah, we actually had the day off, so it was really nice to just kind of have a long weekend. Long weekend, an extra day. We uh, finally, I don't know, if, actually, I won't say anything. Anything different from last stream, from this stream? Ooh. Let us know in the comments. Um, but yeah, we're super excited to be here, get our week started. Um, how was our weekend? What did we do this weekend? It was. We celebrated a birthday. Two birthdays. Two birthdays. Two birthdays and a uh, rendezvous. Uh, at East Day. Oh, that was this weekend, huh? Yeah. Oh, I forgot. And uh, um, some like binge watching. Mm -hmm. So two birthdays, rendezvous, and binge. <laughs> that sounds like a song. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, actually, I'm going to let you take over chat because I hear some rumblings going on. I'm going to just take care that of that. That might be my stomach. Uh, why don't, yeah, why don't we say hi to everyone? Um, we are going to be saying hi to everyone. So James um, has been busy prepping and starting to cook some of the items um, uh, before the stream started. So I won't say what we're making yet. I'll wait until James comes back. So for now, I'll say hi to Mike Lee for being the first person to say something in the chat. So hola amigos. Bonjour. No, uh, no son mis. Yo, sup? So those are three languages <laughs> uh, that he's saying, hello, what's up? What's up, Mike and Michael? Uh, Don, Cheeto, how are you? I love the menu choice. Okay, well, we'll get to that in a second. What's up, Linda? And that is her favorite Vietnamese dish. What's up, Evelyn and Foxy Brown? Yes, happy Dr. MLK Day. Yes. Uh, what the? What's up, beauty? Beauty back. Um, hello, Chris and Barb. Happy Monday. I hope the wheel lands on a good wedge tonight, which the wedge is, is there. which that the wedge is there. Yeah. So as Barb mentioned, if you're newer to our channel, what we do on our Monday night lives is if we hit a like goal, then we spin a wheel and whatever it lands on, we have to do. So be sure to like the video. Um, our first like goal is 50. 50 likes. Always 50. 50 yeah. likes. Uh, what's up, uh, Jay, Jovan? Jovo, Jov. Let us know how to say Jovo Ann. That's Jovan, how I would say Jovan. it. Jovan? Yeah. Uh, oh, she's just saying hello to James. Oh. Well, I'm here too. <laughs> it's funny the thumbnail was only James. That's part of why. I was a photographer in that Yeah. Film. Yeah. I made you look good. I don't know. I kind of look I was like, wrinkly, girl, but that's just me. Well, I can't. I can't go against nature. <laughs> <laughs> we have uh, Dana. You always have to help me with this. Jan. Jan. That's Jan. what. That was my instinct. Chunky Funk, welcome. We have Bonnie and Elda. Welcome to the live stream. Stacy, you're you're correct. No tree. We took the tree down, um, but we were a day late from our deadline. That's kind of. I mean, it just falls on the binging. Fault. I mean, we had an MLK, so yeah, that's true. See, it said both names now. Oh, wait, but that was someone else, right? No, yeah, see? Yeah, I'm <laughs> here. I'm in existence. Uh, we have Kevin Du. Welcome to the live stream. We also have Rosemary and Julie. Welcome, welcome. Uh, Kim, you got to hook us up with the water spinach because I don't know. We went to the market yes, uh, a few days I ago wonder, and I didn't see it. I wonder that Vietnamese, like, what was it called? Oh, I wonder if that was the water spinach. No, it would have been. It would have been called that. What's Vietnamese balm? Maybe look it up on your phone and see. Vietnamese balm, balm like like lip balm almost. Vietnamese I don't think that's balm. water water spinach. Anyways, how are you? Happy yeah. New Year! I miss. We miss you. Vietnamese. My favorite people and dish ever. Really, I didn't know bom rio was uh, your favorite. It is this. No, that's it's totally a, different. That's called. That sounds as, like as something. Ashokzia. <laughs> you gotta get that checked, whatever that is. Oh my god, what? 
what is the okay so you can't probably see it on my phone but this is what it is but in english it just has a very unique scientific name <laughs> uh everyone welcome sanaf my first live welcome to your first oh, live oh please let us know where are you from what's your favorite food and how did you find us uh, Vietnamese marker on McFadden and Beach Boulevard. Like, see. Oh, Rao, Rao Moong. Moong, like Moong, like Moong means like I want, but I don't think that's what it, I'm not saying it right, probably. Uh, exactly. But Rao, it always means like a vegetable. Oh. So there's, it's usually, it's like banh mi. You know how you say bun and then something else? Yeah. So Rao is like to categorize vegetable. Oh. Um, yeah. I mean, we might have just missed it. I mean, I, I we don't have a go-to Vietnamese supermarket, do we? No, we just yeah. go to where we, it's like still open or like where we're like eating and they're the closest Vietnamese market. But we should really stick to one so we become familiar yeah. with where items are. It's mm -hmm. always a new adventure every single time we go to a different one. Oh, I read that wrong. So market, the one on McFadden and Beach. Got it. Oh. We went to the one near Phulup Ta, which is like Vietnamese central area here to us and it was the only one that was open till 10 because we i was procrastinating we were supposed to go earlier in the day and we got I kind of kept pushing it off and so well, the, it was raining a lot it so was if raining you, a if lot you, if, we, if we didn't feel like going out then it's okay because it did rain here a lot in southern california uh we have carter and a disco dog here disco hot dog not disco dog <laughs> welcome to the live stream and nora says what Eat with Kim is here. Yes, she's here. You're in uh, presence of greatness. Ooh, uh, I have to get to that in a second. Uh, we have Mr. Ryan. Welcome to the live stream. So real quick, before I leave stream again, we have this huge pot of bumri, which we were making. If you've never heard of bumri, it is a Vietnamese crab and pork noodle soup. Um, so I kind of did all of that off like camera and beforehand. You're very distracted today. <laughs> uh, well, don't look at me. <laughs> I, I can't help it. I, you're in my periphery. Uh, so I, I did all of the soup part uh, because, I mean, that was just basically sauteing some tomatoes, throwing in the chicken stock, the water, and then a lot of seasoning. So uh, it said to, like, um, cook it until it boils for like five minutes, and that timer was indicating that it's five minutes. So I'm going to actually turn it on low, and then we'll tell you – what we're doing the next step the cooking part for today's stream okay um, but while i step away why don't you kind of give everyone a tour of what we have here the best to your ability yes um and like the video like the video so uh, if you're curious on the soup part that james has already began before the live i saw him filming like a short oh yeah, like yeah. A, on his phone so he might upload that pretty soon so if you're really curious you could just watch that and uh, what we have here, let's see. What is this in front of me? What do you all think this is? I mean, it's pretty obvious, but I don't know. Uh, I guess on cameras, maybe it could look like ground beef or ground turkey, which I'm sure you could use ground beef or turkey, but uh, I think traditionally it's ground pork. You're right, Julie, ground pork. And then we have some. We have a bowl of some nice-looking uh, sh shrimp that's been deshelled and deveined. What a divine, deveined shrimp we have here! So divine, deveined. Uh, we got some chopped shallots. Shallots here. Um, shallots are always good. It's one of my favorites favorite things because it's so garlicky and oniony at the same time and if i guess if you want to skip a step if there's a recipe that calls for both might as well just use extra just shallots uh so we have this you've seen this on our live before it's uh we used it i guess most recently oh my gosh whoo on paper it's hot here mm, it's pretty good might very have a little bit of fish sauce. Oh. Fish sauce, chicken stock maybe. But that was a really good tasting broth. Um, but yes, so this is the, I don't know what it's called in Vietnamese, but it's like Vietnamese ham loaf, oh, yeah. meat loaf. Oh, like, almost like a pork loaf. Pork loaf. Yeah. But um, you see this a lot of like banh mi 
uh, in Vietnamese sandwiches, you see this in a lot of uh, uh, like other Vietnamese bang kun, I think that's what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> bang kun. Yeah. Uh, but most recently on our live, we made a banh mi charcuterie board. So maybe one teaspoon, yeah, half, half a spoon of that. Um, okay, so that's here. We got a couple of canned items. So the first can is this. It might be hard to see because uh, it might be a little bright, but this is uh, mint prawns in spices. So I think this gives it a really good topping flavor and seafoody flavor to to this dish. So that's we have a can of prawns in spices, and we also have a can of crab meat, which is a very critical ingredient in bom nu. <laughs> and then um, we have this spicy crab paste, which I think it also goes in here as a topping. That I'm like kind of on the fence about if I need to use it or not. So we're gonna play that. Oh, right oh, here. this is oh, this is what we were debating. Huh? Yeah, we weren't sure. I will just add a little bit to enhance the flavor of what you already created. Yeah. So uh, I'll be really quick. So oh, in front of us, we have the uh, chukumans that you add uh, after the bowl is served to you. So then you can pick and choose what vegetables and herbs you want. So we have some bean sprouts, mint, green onions, uh, lime, and the Vietnamese. Basil? I, I don't know. What is this called? I only picked it up because the thing said purple perilla. And I don't think those are perilla, but they're purple. I've seen this a lot of it. It's like a Thai basil, right? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's, it's, like a, it's like a Thai basil. And then we have some Thai chili pepper, which I think we're just going to eat off to the side, right? Yeah. So pretty. Uh, and some eggs. When did, when do the eggs go in? The eggs are actually going to be... So uh, boom real, the real part is referencing um, like kind of the crab meatball part. So that's why it's called bumrio. So the eggs are kind of going to be like, I think a binder for us. Oh, so we're going to make a pork <laughs> shrimp meatball. Yeah, pretty much. It, can, you, can it be a similar filling to when you're making like an egg roll or a shumai? It, uh, it could be. It's a lot lighter, I'd say. Um, and it's delicate. And so you actually drop it in raw into the soup. And that's how it cooks. And then you end up with all of these really nice. Um, so fancy way of cooking like a noodle dish. Yeah. Huh? Which is why this one's a little bit e way easier than like pho or bumbo way. Eh? Like easier? This making this is a lot easier because I can make it. Oh. I can't make pho. I haven't made pho before. Well, bumbo I'm sure if you make. tried, you would make it yeah. really great because yeah. pho is like you just add everything in and you just let it. It go. just seems like it takes longer but oh, yeah. and i don't know how to use a pressure cooker like you do so it's all that stuff but yeah uh we have stephanie here and welcome to the live stream and eddie that i laugh every time he says that word too but why what how did i oh, say it a chukama. what <laughs> it's getting worse every time you say it well how do you say it i just say accoutrements a chukamins no I, I didn't say that oh, what? You accoutrements say? Mm. I, like I think you yeah, do you say accoutrement like, do you not say the T? I don't know. I don't even now. I don't even know how to say is that it, word. Is it like a because you word? say it so <laughs> weird that I don't even know what the original saying is. Mm -hmm. Can someone like let us know? I don't want to ask her because she's probably gonna butcher it. Oh no, that's him and that's her. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna move these off to the side, and we will probably get started on making our mixture very shortly here. And, and what are we can... using to mix the mixture? Well. The it did say for us to bust out the food processor today. So we're going to use our food processor uh, to kind of get some things going. Um, and we'll go from there. So yeah, the soup is now boiling. And this public is bothering me with no other. There we go. It's better now. Uh, Michelle and Fernando, welcome to the live stream. And Rosemary says Mark's pronunciation is right. So accoutrement? Accoutrement? Oh, see? Accoutrement? Accoutrement? <laughs> Kajima. 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 Um, Kajima. All right. So I'm going to, I've been doing, I got my little thing here. Okay. This is not a, this, the jig is up. Okay. I'm on Master Chef. You know that on Master Chef, they, they have a the little recipe. thing. They okay? give you the recipe. It's TV. All right. So this is, this is reality TV, but like actually. So we're going to do it step by step. 
So I have the food processor Perhaps here. Day by day. Okay. So we have that there. And then... Are we chopping or pureeing it? So one is chopped, and then after that is pulse. Okay. And then pulse after that. So those are the two modes that we're using. Is pulse is just pulse, pulse, right? But yeah. Okay. Uh, Angelina is here. Welcome to the live stream. I thoroughly enjoyed the last video. Like, OMG, it was what my hangover needed to watch. Oh, the crab one. Right? That was, that we still have one jar of each in our freezer. So can't wait till we eat that again. <laughs> um, all right. I'm going to need you to be my assistant today. Is that okay? Because you don't want to use the machine. No, the machine <laughs> it intimidates me. It intimidates me too. Yeah. Is this like, a hole to put ingredients through? Oh, like if you have to like sift oil or, or not sift, but you know, put oil, oil in. Oil. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I brought over the shallots that I've already chopped, but I don't know why I have to chop it again. Chop it again. But I follow the directions. So we're adding the that in there. And it says pulse until finely chopped. So I guess we could give it a go. If you're wearing headphones, you might want to mute this part. I don't know how loud this is going to be. And Jamie's moving back to Garden Grove. Well, oh. that's a good move because all the good food is here. Could you do this without the crab? Probably. I would imagine Probably. you could. Maybe tofu. Yeah. Which we're adding to our thing, too. We're going to have tofu. Do I feel like we're too... Um, there's too much space above our heads? We're going to be okay. I just feel like... Maxi, welcome to the live stream. And Nick says it's pronounced Aku Tremons. Aku Tremons. <laughs> okay. So we're going to just do this until it's finally chopped. I didn't even need to chop it early. I know you didn't. Well, I guess it kind of helped get it. I mean, no, I don't know. Anyway. All right. So that's good. And then we are going to add in our shrimp. And it says pulse five to six times. Now, I. The only thing I'm worried about is we are making a little bit more of the meatballs than the recipe calls for, but that's okay because I love the meatballs, my favorite part. Add what? Uh, the shrimp. All of it? We're just going to add all of it. Yeah. I'll just wash my hands later. Oh. It said, uh, well, yesterday, I mean, there was a language barrier. We only need one eighth pound. And oh. I don't remember how much this was. Half a pound. So let's do, that should be fine then. Okay. Is there a button that you're pressing? I want to yeah, press. press. Oh, it's just this? So it says to do it five. <laughs> wow, it really did the trick. So, it makes it so, so easy. easy. So this one's easy. way better than the one we had before. And then now we are, it says add remaining ingredients except crab and green onion and pulse a few times. So the remaining ingredients are the ground pork. We need to add two thirds pound. And what if this is one pound? Yeah, he gave me more. So we're only going to add maybe half of that. I got a spoon. So we could use a spoon that Half of this? Huh? Yeah. Well, let's just see how much we can get in there first. And... and again, if you have not yet liked this video, make sure you like it by giving us a thumbs up. Because we want to spin the wheel. Car Monkey says, happy Monday. Happy Monday to you as well. Now, it doesn't mention anything about the egg, but it's in the category of the egg. Or this, so we just add the egg into this at some point. Well, uh, let's chop yeah. the meat and then let's add the egg. Okay. There. Oh! Okay, we quite need the egg. Oh, you could. Oh. Just to help mix it. Mix yeah. it in. So two gonna... eggs? Yeah, it says two large eggs. Okay. This here. Oh. Y'all, have y'all noticed the egg prices? I'm obsessed with the egg prices right now. <laughs> it's a hot commodity. I feel like all the food industries just takes turn on like, <laughs> hey, can we be can we be like trendy right now and increase our prices? <laughs> Oh, it's 
supposed to like, film this part. I forgot. Oh, but it's too crazy to try to do that. Okay, but we need to kind of mix it in, give it some support. Just probably we should use our bigger. Um, we have a bigger one of this. We have a we have a we have a big size of this. Oh. Okay. I also need to add some pepper and sugar to this. Might as well just add it now. Yeah. Now someone said that they might have seen us in real life in the chat. Who? When? Someone Where? Near Amridge. Who? Wait. Who? Who said that? I think it was Fernando. Fernando. Well, when was it? You should have honked at us. You should have made us scared. <laughs> So oh, adding pepper. Hi, Iris. Welcome. And then I need to grab something to put some sugar in. Oh, uh, people are saying it's probably because of the bird flu that the egg prices are going Oh, up. I didn't know there was a bird flu going around. And this is a teaspoon, so I'll do two of these. One, two. Let me just make sure I don't need to add anything else. So it says minced prawn, but there's probably no room in there, so you can always add that. <laughs> Fish sauce. That's it. Hmm? That was it. Yeah, and then I'm gonna add some green onion. <clears throat> that should be good. And then we'll add all the other stuff after. It's fine, I believe. Uh, Jeremy says since the pork and shrimp is mixed, now just mix the ingredients with a spoon. Yes. We're actually gonna transfer this to the to this bowl. And then that's when I'm going to start adding all these other things. Let me get this out of your way. Oh, sorry. Okay, be careful of the blade. Okay. There, I'll just wash my hands. Oh, girl, she's... Is it kind of gummy because of all the... Yeah. Go ahead and spoon up a lot of it and put the blade out. There we go. Easier, a little bit easier to get out. There we go. This. That's good enough for now. I'm on camera, y'all. <laughs> Ooh, this looks yummy already. This boom's gonna have a lot of Ryu. I like it. <laughs> Usually when I eat this at a restaurant, I feel like they don't give enough. So now that we have this at home, it should be like a a treat. All right, let me put this off to the side. My body's still there. My big, my big butt saved me. All right. Um, and it also says to add in the 5.6 can ounce of minced prawn or minced crab. So this is the one we're using. I know it might be hard to see. I think I mentioned that earlier. So I have the 
can opener here. So I'm going to add that straight to this here. Do you remember where we got this at the Vietnamese market? What section? Like, yeah, off of can food. Yeah. You can't miss it. There's a lot. There's a lot. You can't of, miss it. There's like a crab in spices, palm in spices, fish in spices. All right. And so this is like a little bit orangey, I'd say, is the right word. Ooh, I think I might have snipped a little pepper. We're going to add this straight to this mixture here. It has the same texture. I'm I'm going to assume that adding like this prawns and the spices and just eating with white rice and mixing it would be delicious. You don't have to cook this. It would be already cooked, wouldn't it not be? Oh, maybe you're right. All right, and then we're going to add the crab meat, but we we need to uh drain it just so that uh Lightly squeeze or uh, maybe lightly squeeze sounds like cap over the trash can. We'd be good. Yeah, I'll turn it in the sink. Uh, yeah. So yes, if you are new to our stream, uh, we like to know where you're from. What's your favorite food, and how did you find us? Feel free to share in the chat. Mark's gonna help me drain this. My name is Mark Drain. That's kind of a cool name. Mark Drain. Mark Drain. <laughs> Here we go. And actually, let me do a little behind the scenes short. This just. Actually, I'll have Mark um, put in the crab when it's ready so that I can film it. And Bernice is uh, new here. Welcome from Worcester. How did I say War? I want to say Worcester, but there's no H there. Worcester is that how you say it? Massachusetts. Worcestershire sauce. Oh, that's what that's for. I always forget that the can opener has that. We have a. Do you need to use part of the spoon? Yeah. Okay. Just careful. There we go. Red. Yep. Oh. Perfect. I'm going to wait for Mark to come back. <laughs> We're almost done, actually. All we have to do now is we're gonna scoop, spoon these, almost kind of like ice cream. Um, did you want to film or do you want to stir? No, good film. Okay. All right. So, Doesn't that look good. It looks really good. I wonder if we could just make a meatloaf, like put this in a meatloaf oh, pan. Yeah. Actually, I don't know. Sounds good. Oh, smell it. Oh, you can you can stop recording. It's good, but smell it. Oh yeah, it's like it smells like like legit like Vietnamese. Just gonna smell. do a little bit more here. Uh, Send out says from Boston. Hot pot's my favorite food. I've been subscribed for quite some time, but never made it to a live. Oh, welcome. Oh. And yes, I do apologize if we miss anyone's comments, and you really want us to read it, just say it again till we see it. Just a little busy right now. Dahlia, welcome to the live stream. My brain thought the crab vid was the Monday Night Live. Oh, you know, that was a little bit of bonus for you all. We released it yesterday knowing that some of you might have MLK off. So we were like, why don't we just drop the video then? And so far, it's been too, doing pretty well. So if you have not watched that video yet, please feel free to jump over there after the stream is over. It's a short 20-minute video. Really entertaining whenever, I, I feel like we're entertaining when we eat that specific dish. There's those, something that those crab innards do to us. All right, so 
Let me read this off real quick before yeah, Mark is back. I'm sure we're due a wheel spin because someone said we were at 44 earlier. So go ahead and confirm like the that. video. Are we are we at 50 likes? I'm not gonna do the wheel spin unless someone confirms we're at 50 likes. Surprised you pronounced my name correctly. Not a lot of people does. Now I'm scared to say your name. Because <laughs> I'm not sure how I said it James earlier. has a bad I think I just said memory. Sanaf, but now I think it's wrong. Either case, we love you. Thanks for being here. How many likes are we at? Do we get to spin the wheel? Please confirm. Now this next part, I'm giving ourselves immunity. I will need you to come off camera with me so we can do that really quickly. And then maybe we'll just do a play-by-play. -play. We don't have the camera set up there, but you'll see it once uh, the short comes out. So that's why we need to film this. So we'll be right back. I'm only gonna do like one or two and then Mark will come back to the stream. So I wonder, BRB. I wonder if we could also so do this and then also do the camera thing. We could try, I just... Yeah, Now, these are going to take around 20 minutes. So let me describe what James just did. So we have, we have the broth and the soup that's already been cooking on our stove. So what James is doing now with the, the meat mixture, he's taking dollops of it and then just like putting it in the pot. And that's how it's going to cook the meatballs. So kind of like... Scoop, dump, scoop, dump. So we have a lot of meatballs. So it's going to be protein heavy, which is good, you know. And if you're keto, then I'm sure you could just eat this without the noodles. All right. People are confirming we are at 57 likes. Yay! So we will. Oh, crap. We were supposed to do the band word, too. Oh, shoot. Yes. Um. Yeah, last Monday, we owe you band word. So as we pull up the wheel, go ahead and put in your suggestions for the band word. And I'm going to share my screen. Is it Windows or Chrome tab? Entire uh, screen? Right now it's on the tab, right? So yeah, it'd be Chrome tab. Okay. No, I think you did window before. Huh? I think you did window. Oh. Okay. Do you see the wheel? Hold on. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to spin the wheel. <laughs> Guess what? Nothing happens. Uh, that's a shame. <laughs> <laughs> and Julie's on too. Oh my gosh, she's going to think that we rigged this, but we really didn't. Well, that's easy then. We got it out of the way. That means the next one will be a good thing. Yeah. The, oh, we need the paper towel. Oh, I'm sorry. So, um, so keep liking the video. Once we hit 75 likes, we're going to spin the wheel again. So please like the video. You know, we need to do justice of, you know, the nothing happens. We need to show what's up and actually we're going to do something when nothing happens. And we do that by liking the video. So yeah, we get to just chill out for a little bit. I'll probably start the, um, uh, the noodles in a separate, we just have to drop it in really quickly and take it out. And then the only other thing I'm gonna add to the soup is the fried tofu. They already sell fried tofu at the market. So we're gonna have a layer of that and our dish will be done. Um, but we are not adding <coughs> the, uh, the blood cubes, right? No, no. Uh, Claymore, welcome to the live stream. Okay, so what are some of the words? Balls, good. 
Uh, just take a shot. We've had plenty this past weekend and then some. I, w I saw someone say boom, but I was like, I don't know how often Mark is saying it, but he has been saying it quite a bit. Uh, no, we gave ourselves a uh, pass because we needed to film a short. Oh, yeah. James said we're going to give what? what immunity. What? I said immunity. <laughs> I didn't got, know what other word to say. We just got immunity because I had to film for him. Yeah. Mike, welcome back. Well, I, hope, come on, come I hope your neighbor is a subscriber. If not, then he's not a cool neighbor. Oh, your neighbor's here. His neighbor's here. No, he just says. Um, oh. He's back because his neighbor. Oh, got it. Uh, any suggestions on how to cook fish tofu? Mm, I don't know if we've ever made fish tofu. Like tofu that's actually made of fish or like a fish dish that has tofu in it? Clarify. What are you going to drink today? Well, the brothy soup. I don't know about you, but when I drink a brothy soup, I just, usually just water is fine, but I don't know. Well, James doesn't know, but one of the will wedge is <gasps> drink wine. Oh, really? <laughs> I think people love to have wine on their menu because that's mm. like the French influence, mm -hmm. right? So a lot of Vietnamese restaurants, even though you may not think it's like something that you would eat with wine or pair with wine, but they all serve it. Yeah. Uh, Jamie says, when I go back to Garden Grove, I'm going back to Rodeo 39. Yes, we just did a short there. I mean, we did a short there a while. Actually, I have enough content for shorts for at least the next three or four days. Because now what I'm just we, like, what do we short, have? short, short, short. Oh. Uh, yeah, that's a good point. Uh, we did a date night at Roxy's. Oh, I forgot about that. See, I had that. And then I had something else before that. And then we need to film that short, which we haven't done yet. Oh, the real short. Wear <laughs> <laughs> short shorts. Mike says she's not a subscriber. She's not technically knowledgeable. So I don't want to go down that lane. As in like, you have to. This is how you, you open the YouTube app, you type in James and Mark, and you <laughs> love them so much. Oh, the, the cubes are, the, I don't think they're they're fish tofu, but they're just fish cake. Oh. At the Asian market, right? So there's no tofu in it, but it's basically like what James made earlier with the with the meat mixture. But think about with a lot of like fish, uh, and then they make a mixture out of it, and then you, and then they kind of cook it or steam it. Um, or fry it to make fish cake. But they do kind of look like tofu, huh? You could uh, end them with, with fish cake. Typically in the hot pot is really common. Um, you can add it to soup. You could even fry it, yeah. Definitely fry it, uh, pan fry. Add some soy sauce, sugar, mirin. Stir it up. That sounds delicious. I'm curious how many bowls we'll actually be able to get out of this batch we made. So the last time I made that batch, I think we had like eight bowls worth, which I don't think that's how many we'll have for this. But it, um, like my mom, when I was growing up, if we ran low on certain um, soups, she would be able to know how to like make the broth without having to start all over again. You know what I mean? Like just oh. adding more liquid, but then I know if I try to do that, it'll probably taste off. So we'll see. I mean, um, yeah, it takes years of experience oh, yeah, to yeah. kind of know how to adjust. For sure. She sounds like my mother-in-law. I mean, you need kimchi with the soup. That would be, no, I would, that's a no for me. I'm sure you could, but I, I think kimchi has its place. I think kimchi, actually what will end up being the overpowering component is this, which is, I know it's hard to see. This is called shrimp sauce, finely ground. It's one of my favorite smells in the world. Why is it already? Oh, oh yeah. I had I to, yeah, I had to use it. This is definitely not like kimchi. It's, it's, oh, yeah. it's like a dipping thing, right? For your meats and stuff. Yeah, yeah, you could add it into your meat. You could add it additionally into your broth. So I really like it. If um, 
If any of you are familiar with Bagu, is that American? or Baguong, is that how you say it? Mm. It has a very similar, like that's what we were referencing in that Filipino video that we did where it said like it tastes similar. Yeah, but but without the chili oil, chili yeah, yeah, oil, yeah, no, just the fish paste, so shrimp paste. Uh, I just bought Mirin as well. Yes, yes, this is Mamruk. Mamtom, Mamruk. Those are the same thing, right? I use them interchangeably, so I'm not sure. Noah, welcome to the live stream. We still have about. Oh my God, the pot is blocking the entire timer. I can't even see it. Thirteen minutes. To oh, go. you didn't. You didn't ask for assistance. What do you mean? Because usually for our timer, we ask. Oh, no, no. Yeah, I just did that. Do you want to turn on the water for the noodles? I was going to do it at 10. doesn't really matter. Yeah. Oh, we didn't choose the band word yet. Yeah. We uh, need to choose. Okay. 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 Starting. I'm, I'm sure we've done that. Oh, yeah. Before. Then don't do it. Then. No, have we? It sounds like something that we would have done. Soup, band word soup. Soup or noodle. So two words. Might as well give it to the people. But if you say one, it's like you're done for the game. It's not like that because those words are very specific. So I'm okay, okay with that. Okay. Okay. So after I say the word, from this point forward, we can not say soup or noodle. Got it. Swell. Swell. How are you? Swell. <laughs> I'm swelling up. Okay. Karina, welcome to the live stream. And let us know what you're having for mm. dinner. I um unless we, it's the band word, then we're not gonna say it out loud. We're not gonna say it out loud. But uh actually this is something that we always like to ask on our Monday night live is what to know what you're having for dinner because I don't know, it's just really fun to know what other people are eating, mm -hmm. right? Sometimes we'll get inspiration and decide like that's what sh we should eat mm -hmm. next time. Mm -hmm. Double band words. Yeah, I'm kind of on edge now. Well, you're cut, you cut well, as you said that you literally are literally sat at the edge of the chair. <laughs> what else do you have to cook? The vermicelli. <laughs> So James got the vermicelli that normally is in the pho dish, which you can use. Um, or you might have seen the other kind of starch. <laughs> yeah. And I don't know why, but we got like the Costco size of this. That's a lot of, hi, bless you. <gasps> Excuse me. Woo. Okay, I need to turn on the boiling water. For what though? For that bag. <laughs> um, no one's letting us know what you're eating for dinner. <laughs> this might be the most real I've ever seen. That's the meatball? Yeah. Okay, we're allowed to say meat, right? I was like, for a second, my heart <laughs> dropped down to my stomach for a second because I thought meat was the ban word. You are good. All right, people are saying, bless you. I got a little, <coughs> a little itch in my throat now. A little cricket in his throat. Uh, Elda is having a sandwich and chips. Uh, Foxy Brown says, can't wait for this meal. So excited. Um, Kay Miller says, bless you for your sneeze earlier. So, and Foxy Brown also blesses you too. Iris is having cheddar cheese bagel with black forest. Oh, I, I see someone on TikTok that eats her bagel and cream cheese with salami. And she swears by it. So I'm kind of curious. We have some salami. We just need cream cheese. Can we add that to the... Oh, we finished the cream cheese. Dang, don't call me out. Well, no, I just want it plain. We only have salmon. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, so this is the tofu that I will be adding to the pot. Hmm. And this is already 
like fried. So it has that kind of mm -hmm. fried taste and texture on the outside of the tofu skin. Uh, let's see, uh, pork chop, uh, Noir's having pork chops with broccoli, cheddar pasta. Well, reading comment is scary. Yeah. With the banned word, I'm like hesitant to read out loud. No, uh, no, I feel. Karen's having um, scrambled eggs with homemade chili oil. Mm -hmm. Share your recipe, please. Uh, Foxy's having uh, leftover taco. Taco pasta and grilled pork rib roast. That sounds fabulous. Yeah, we could always say pasta in lieu of the band word. Uh, Claymore is having leftover pad thai and fried rice. Sorry, is that because I don't want to read the comments? I'm just, <laughs> I'm trying to read them before I say it out loud. So uh, that's why uh, there's a slight hesitance. Uh, yeah, you know, although that's a good question. Foxy, what is a taco pasta? I would just imagine taco ingredients, but eating it with pasta. Pasta. I almost said it. Uh, Mike is having a good, made a good food meal, which it might be one of those um, cooking Perhaps, oh. Uh, cauliflower curry on rice. Added peanuts to give it texture. So smart. You should always try to think how you could level up some of the recipes you find online or when you do like a blue apron sort of thing. What's up? Do you think I'll ever get to a point where I can just memorize how to make this? It's a lot of components. So Rahi, what's up? Oh, look at Michael here coming to be trilingual, just like Mike earlier in the day. Um, said hola amigos um yo sup <laughs> well, i forgot the third language but um michael is saying oh. happy new year in different languages oh in, in vietnamese and in korean i have to check it's new i think new year's day is on i don't know if it's on saturday or sunday now it is earlier this yeah. year right yeah all right, Marianne is having pork belly with sauteed veggies. I made a wrap, mm. yummy. Ooh, and, and hamburger and fries is so classic, but always so good. Uh, mole with rice. We haven't had mole in a, I haven't had mole in a really long time. I don't think, I've had it, but. I want Oh, to today my um, dish had a mole sauce. Oh, you're for brunch. Yeah. We had brunch at uh, Por Vida, um, which is a trendy taco place, but it was for brunch. So mm -hmm. James ordered the chilequiles. It was good. It was good. Oh, it's on Sunday, New Year's. Oh, well, that makes sense. We're celebrating Saturday. So for a second, you know, um, before I read Mole, I was like, I'm having, I'm having a meal with rice. I was like, Ooh, I want some of that too. <laughs> Um, everything is okay. Everything is all gonna come together soon. Yeah. You don't need this, right? Can you use the bag and does it say how long? Okay. Eight minutes. Oh, and wow. then Eight rinse okay. rinse with cold water. Rinse with cold water. Interesting. I didn't know this. And this makes sense because I feel like a lot of Vietnamese restaurants um, already have this 
cook ahead of time um, that after you like cook it for eight minutes, drain and rinse by cold water, you could use it within six to eight hours of that. Oh. It just needs to be reheated in the broth or, oh, right, or you right. pan fry or whatever you're cooking it with. So interesting. I guess we could have done this six hours ago. <laughs> yeah, we could. It's not bad. It's only seven o'clock, and most of the cooking is done. So. Oh yeah, it's it's so early. I worked for a Vietnamese lady and she would boil eggs and after she peeled them, she would soak them in fish sauce. So delicious. And she would serve it with teriyaki salmon. Well, that kind of sounds, we have a very popular Vietnamese dish, which is braised pork belly with eggs, which we actually will be eating this weekend. It's a, Oh, didn't we cook that one time on our live? We knew how to make it. Was, is it the, Coconut one? Yeah, yeah. We made it? We made it. Oh. TikTok or something like that. TikTok? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you didn't say that for the latter word, though, by the way. You said something else. What did I say? I can't say it again, but uh, TikTok. <laughs> TikTok. TikTok, yeah. yeah. I was like, aha, what you have it? <laughs> Donna, welcome to the live stream. Uh, yeah, are we at 75 likes yet? And yeah, Paul Mustang is laughing. Tick call. Not the other one. Do you I, want that today? I don't even know. Does that mean a Vietnamese sausage? No. And what does it mean? Uh, the call means like braised or stewed. Uh, what the, okay. Would you just ask? Did you want that today? Yeah. I'm, why do I feel like this is a trick question? I don't no, know. No, it's not. Like Lainey, welcome to the live stream. Happy New Year. Yeah. So at what point are you able? Oh, I guess we're, we're allowed to say Happy New Year again soon. Oh, because <laughs> it's the New Lunar Year. New Year. Um, Jeremy asked, just watch your raw marinated crab. Can you get it? You know what, Mark? Give all the deets because I think a lot of people have questions okay. about that. Here's the thing. Um, if you can't read Korean... Probably the easiest way to order is um, go to soulmeals.com. We do, I believe our coupon code is still active. I think you get 10% off using James and Mark, but we'll confirm what the coupon code is. So they have it there and it comes from Korea and it's pretty good. Um, and they have both the soy sauce kind and the spicy kind. And we've ordered it maybe three times um, in the recent couple, you know, year or two. However, the one that we just filmed with, I want to say it's like a little bit better than the vendor that Soul Mills used from Korea. And, um, and this website that we ordered it from, I believe doesn't have an English version, but uh, if you feel like you could navigate your way through, um, you get two jars of the soy sauce one, and that's $150. And two jars of the spicy one is $140. So um, the soy sauce one, I want to say when we uh, used the first jar, it was two full crabs in there. So maybe a total of four crabs comes with um, for the soy sauce one. But anyways, Soul Mills one is just as, is really good too. And we filmed with the Soul Mills mm -hmm. um, one. Multiple times, I think. Yeah, and that's all in English. So you yeah. could see, you could order it directly. Oh, is the coupon code James and Mark? I think One so. word? Yeah, one yeah. word. All right, so I did a scoop of the Ryu, which is the meatball, meatball. from the pot. Um, so I just brought some so that you could do a taste test, and then I'll eat the other half. Mmm. Yeah, it's so um, is well, it's full of flavor, but also like it's so light and fluffy. It's mm. not dense and heavy at all. Now we got mmm. I can't wait. <laughs> oh, really, really good. Mm. 
Now I saw James add the whole pack of tofu. Um, the, did that balloon up and and uh, absorbing all the broth? No, we're okay still. So. Okay. Oh my god, you said broth. That was scary. Oh, <laughs> I said broth too. No, you said. Oh, no, I said broth. I know. Oh I my like, god. Oh my god, you're just like walking a fine line now. Yeah. Because the tofu sucks up a lot. It's like a sponge, you know. So. Um, when I saw James dump the whole thing, I was like, oh, well, hopefully it doesn't. Uh, well, I know it's okay to do because that's how I see my mom do it. Uh, so I feel reasonable. Not like portion at a time. Got it. Got it. Got it. And then if it, if it becomes an issue, you could always like press down with your spoon and more liquid will come out. Oh, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a real method, but I guess, yeah. no, that makes sense because it is a spot. It's still there. Yeah. Uh, what's up, Lainey? You know, uh, Lainey, so the pot's off to the side. However, James has been filming on his phone for like a short video. So maybe after our live, he's probably going to upload this in the next, you know, day or so. Yeah. So you get to watch it there. Um, we. I think James probably thought about like having another camera set over there, but we can't figure out the sound because even though we try to mute the microphone on the other camera, like in the past, it would give this echo or, you know, that yeah, like that really microphone echoing sound. So we didn't want to torture anyone here. So we decided to just describe it by words, um, you know, Think of it as a podcast where you can't see, but uh, you'll see it once we like put it all together. It'll be pretty and it'll be worth it. So if you've been here since the start, we we thank you. Uh, Linda asked if the Bumru has uh, tomatoes in it. Yes, uh, we quartered like two large tomatoes and we lightly stir fried them before uh, we made the rest of the broth. Oh, yes. my gosh! I'd rather be there right now. Ellie Gunn says catching your live while in Cancun. Oh God. I That's wanna, great. I want to go. I want to go to Cancun. Go. But we have this thing called jobs. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't it be nice to just like be, to be able to go, just get up and go anywhere you want? Yeah, to go? that'd be great. But we have Mr. Hadu. He's. Deep. I can probably angle it later after. He's deep asleep. <laughs> And we're at 77 oh, likes. Oh, thank you for confirming our likes. So let me go ahead and spin the wheel. And this will be good because nothing happens or nothing happened already happened. <laughs> so that's it's not going to land on that anymore, right? So. Now I have to ask Mark. Yeah. Is this, do you think this is one portion or two? Don't say it though, because that's the word. One. This is one, so I need to do two of these. But I might not eat as much just do... carbs. Oh. So we could just eyeball it. All right, I'm going to spin the wheel. Oh! What Ooh! Happened? What? <laughs> what happened? Uh, it's the one that I added on at the last minute. Oh, uh, wine? Yeah, we're, we'll drink. We'll open up a bottle of wine. And perfect timing because we're just about to eat soon. Um, James is cooking the carbs down, and Jane Doe is here. Hi, Jane. We miss you so much. And we got our first super chat of the night. Yay! Hi, James. So when James comes back, we will go ahead and sing our specials. Oh, he's coming back. Let's highlight it. Ready? Yeah. Jane, Jane, thank you. We appreciate you. Yay, thank you so much for the $10 super chat. We wanted to see you earlier today, but uh, they're so bu they're so popular. They're so busy for us. And Kevin, what's up? My Hi, favorite Kevin. mukbangers. Well, my favorite 
viewer. <laughs> uh, and the people are just talking about like organic foods and stuff. Organic foods. Is there a Trader Joe's in Canada? Or is no, it I remember um, Mike said that they would have to drive down to like oh, the States to the, get it. From Canada to... Now, where well, they visit you... Florida for sure, but I, yeah, maybe oh. there has to be one more close to them. Yeah, we are going to be drinking. However, um, I can't leave to get our bottle of wine right now because then we would have to take a shot. So I'll wait until James comes back. Okay, I will give you a solid four minutes to do what you need to do. I honestly, I don't think I've ever had this dish with wine before, so this will be new too. Do you want like a lighter? Yeah, I think a lighter one will be nice. Um, no spoilers alert, but I'm kind of a spoiler alert, but I'm kind of fine with drinking bottle wine because we're, I think we're on the final two episodes of Singles Inferno too. So this will be fine for us to have a little bit. And then, yeah, I just noticed you're at, you're almost at 26,000. Yes. Well, you know, the shorts have actually really helped us kind of stay steady. I can't imagine how much our channel would grow if we didn't do shorts, but, um, our last, um, I guess people like when we eat raw marinated crap because those always get us new viewers and subscribers. We also been getting a lot of people through the cruise video. I guess that just means we have to eat the raw marinated crab on a cruise. I like that. That would be such a pain to like lug onto the boat though. No. Uh, let's see if we can hit a hundred viewers tonight. We did earlier. Oh, we did. Yeah, I wasn't here then, huh? So we're drinking some Chardonnay, but however, this is not the um, stereotypical uh, Chardonnay. Um, this is Charmakers by Pally Wine. Their Chardonnay is a little bit more crisp. It kind of reminds me of a Sauvignon Blanc, Sauvignon maybe a little Blanc. bit, rather than a Chard. But cheers. cheers. Thanks for liking the video. Thanks for... Letting us open a bottle of wine today. I'm already so much happy, and I didn't even take a sip yet. Yeah, I, I mean, that could be a staple on Monday. That's fine. We have a lot, plenty of wine that we need to get through. We might have to buy some boxed wine. And, you know, you wish is your command. Or like, what was this to say? Um, your wish is your... Your wish came true. We yeah. have 103 viewers right now. Yay. As soon as James said, as soon as we open a bottle of wine... The people came. People came. Okay, the food's almost ready. Don't almost leave. Ready. Uh, yeah, the food is almost ready. Now, <laughs> now uh, you said I need to run this under cold water, correct? Drain cold water. Yeah, and okay. then. Can you see it? Yeah. So um, we have the rice vermicelli <laughs> carbs uh, cooking in a another pot, um, and then we're going to be. Draining that, rinsing that in cold water. And then I think the hot broth from the boom to you is going to warm it up again. I just want to try the broth before making any final adjustments, mm -hmm. which I have not done yet. I'm going to need to use this. Ah! <laughs> James said the word, but I didn't hear it. But no! What else do you call that ladle? It's a soup ladle. Mother. That's so weird because I only say ladle. I don't say hm, ladle. But that scared me. I thought you were. Like, I stepped on something. Stepped on glass or something. <laughs> Woo. No. Now, what do we take a shot of? Maybe know, just down, very maybe yeah, let me down the wine down or something. Wine yeah. There. We'll just down the wine because, you know, um, I don't, we don't do leftover wine. So once we open a bottle, we always finish the bottle. So 
Um, instead of opening a new bottle of soju or vodka or anything else that we have uh, at our bar, which don't say the word, you might say the word now. But this is this is good. She's tasty. Let oh. me just down this while I'm here. Oh. She's deep in flavor. Mmm, really, really, really good. Oh, and this is like before we even add some of the oh, and other flavor. For sure, I love to add the um, parade Thai chili pepper into mine to make it spicy. But what it is right oh, now is so good. good. This tastes like boom for you. Super, right. yeah. James is just, he just keeps eating on the side. <laughs> yeah. I have to taste test. That's not a good cook to do. I, I saw you taste test the fried tofu. I'm like, if I just taste like fried tofu. Oh, uh, no. Yeah, but I opened it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. A big Texas howdy from Cindy. Howdy. Back at y'all. <laughs> Okay, I won't do that anymore. <laughs> I kind of want to go to Texas and wear like really cute cowboy boots and a hat and like you know tuck my final shirt, my jeans with a with a you know leather uh, belt with a huge buckle. I even imagine like having like a sheriff star pinned here, and I want my spurs on my boots to be like you know. Boots with the spurs. To be like sticking out, you know, and be all flashy and just walk around like this, you know, it's like, how they pop in there. Okay, in a moment, I'm going to grant you immunity again because we need another shot, but I'll tell you when. Okay, so if I get off camera, we're granting immunity right now. So no, no shot punishment. Oh, James finished his wine. Oh, that was the. Yeah. So I'm rinsing it and then that's perfect. If you feel like you're not going to eat as many noodles, then you could just tell me how much to cost. Okay. Don't say noodles. Oh, are we? Are we what? Are we frozen? On camera? Did it freeze? Uh, it just did, it did this. Oh, yeah, I think we're okay still, but. Because it's every half an hour, right? Yeah. Is this immunity thing new? It's only new because a lot of the cooking is done off this area, and that James is trying to cook, uh, film um, additional footage to show you the cooking part in a different video. But, you know, how do you is not capable right now he's deep asleep so it's only me who's able to film tj doesn't have any what ordering online yeah i don't think i'm not familiar with any online ordering at trader joe's oh happy new year uh-oh it's not reconnecting. And what's up, Joe? How are you? Hi, Joe. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, us. hey. Are we still on camera? Yeah, I might have to press that just to like get it, give that. us another 30 minutes. Because. She ain't cooperating. Um, just a little before we started the live, our power um, went out, like, you know, for a split second, twice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you hear, like, it powering down and then powering up. Mm -hmm. I hate when that happens because I don't have OCD, really. I, I don't even see, I don't even, I don't even think I have OCD at all. However... I don't like when like the you know the the clock on the oven or the microwave is not it's like 
two minutes behind or three minutes behind or Let's when my the microwave our microwave is right on top of the stove so if those two times are not like aligned that would bother me so every time the power even if it's for a split second goes down it might be like you know a minute behind what your phone says so um i get annoyed because i was like then i have to reset the clock is that enough for you mm -hmm. and then you know, it's not perfect, but as soon as I wait until the minute, like, goes to the next minute, and then I set the time. And then I wait another minute to set the oven time. Who does that? Anyone does that? Please give me some validation that that is okay to do. Eddie is closing on his mom's house tomorrow, taking Ooh. donations. Okay, thanks. You cannot come to our stream asking for donations. <laughs> oh, do that on your platform. I think it'll do really oh, yeah. well. I think that would do really well. Look at you being all positive. Me, I'm like about to start a fight. <laughs> I'm, Kimu, uh, after the live, can you, I, I really want to see the condo because uh, just for fun, uh, we were, when John and Tiff were down here, we were just looking at condos. Um, and I, I just mentioned, I would love to buy a condo in Pearl District, Portland. And then he pulled up a listing. And then I was like, hey, this is pretty affordable. You're right. One of these um, tofu is really bloated. <laughs> um, I came over and I was like, what is that? Oh, it's like a little hacky sack now. Oh, it's like this big. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. It's fine. I just know that happens because when we do a uh, hot pot night, yeah, it's like, don't add the fried tofu early because then it just like that blueberry girl in uh, Willy Wonka's Charlie and the Chocolate Factory when when she eats she eats the was it the blueberry candy and then just kind of swells up and floats into space. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm ready for you, Mark. So, grant okay. Mark immunity. Immunity, I'll be right back. We'll still talk and whatnot. We'll still talk in the background, but don't leave. Don't leave. We're just building our plate. Don't leave. Yeah, don't leave. How many people are there, actually? Check right now so that we know if anyone left. 93, so don't okay, leave. If it, if it goes under 93, by the time we get back, we're just going to end stream. Okay, so I'm just going to get some noodles. You know, you just don't have. And then we can do another shot. I'm going to pour the soup in here now. Whatever angle, just to get my feet. Ready? Yeah. Make sure we get some. Tomatoes in here as well. Focus on some broth. Getting it ready. Do you need to move it? Okay. So great. Oh, that looks so good. this over serve it like we're at a vietnamese restaurant oh, a lot of people love <laughs> don't start assembling this yet because we'll film that as well so i'm gonna bring this here i'll let you position what makes the most sense and then i'm gonna make my bowl yeah karen james had already said the band word earlier so he downed his glass of wine as his punishment so because he already lost he could just now say it carefree however i on the other hand still need to be cautious did i give you enough broth yeah 
I know you tend to like a lot of bra. Why am I being so nice to you? I'm not even using the words as often. Gotta make sure I don't trip over the Ethernet cord. That would be a disaster. Bam! Okay. Oh, and Brenda, Brenda Hong, if you are, I don't think you're on right now, but if you're watching on replay, we're using your spoons. Ooh. I'm gonna get a thing for dipping. For top that. And I need to get you your chili sauce. Oh, I was gonna get it ourselves, but the our immunity already <laughs> lapsed. I need to get you a spoon, right? I'll just use my top stick. Okay, perfect. I mean this is so good. Um it's kind of separated now where the water is on the bottom, but it's um when it's freshly when you buy this freshly, it's all like consistent. But we got this at a Vietnamese restaurant that you could just buy um, there, just parade the chili. Okay, I'm gonna just have you hold it at one angle and I'm gonna assemble it. We have to remember we have this pork loaf here, I almost forgot. So we're gonna top this off here. Let me turn off the branding so you guys can all see better. Okay. A little lattice here. Let's just do four because we can. And we're going to add some bean sprouts here, some mint. And I'll edit out my hefty hands. Some mint, some of these leaves here as well. And then green, green onion. And then lime? Yeah, and then lime. Just squeeze it in. Yummy. Doesn't that look good? Didn't I just bring a bowl over? Okay, this is a spoon for your chili. Uh, I think we're good. Maybe just a quick panoramic then? Actually, let me move a tomato up because you don't even see any red in this dish. Is that better? Y'all know, now you know what we do behind the scenes. This is food art here. I need to wash, I need to clean my mouth today. Uh, the Thai peppers, we could actually just eat like on the side if we like. But this is Thai pepper, but just in a, yeah. Pureed, pureed form. form. So I'm making a dipping sauce. It's really just lime and then that um, ground shrimp paste that I showed you guys earlier. Anything else I can get while I'm up? You good? Good. Right. This is use caution when you use this. It's so it makes the dish so spicy. Oh, maybe a little dollop here would make it look nice. One doll. Yeah, just a, just I can only do a little bit, or I'll siren it right there. Oh yes, that looks good. Oh my God, I made dinner. <laughs> I know it's like legit Viet Vietnamese food dinner. Okay, I have to take a picture, and then my mom's gonna make the same dish in a few days because obviously hers is better. But I tried. Perfect. Oh, yes, the shrimp paste. I need to get some in there. It is the perfect time for soup. I'm glad you didn't read that comment. Because who tried to Abu, you would have, that would have been a big boo boo for him. Abu, I thought we were friends. Not good enough. I guess we're friend in these now. <laughs> no, he just wants you to drink. That's a friend. Which 
regardless if I lose the band war game or not, I'm still drinking. True. True, right? Because it landed on that wheel. I wish I could add a little bit of what you just put in here. <gasps> My mouth is watering. It's watering. Water, water, watering. Watering. Yeah. Y'all ready? Isn't there a song ready for this? The other thing that my um, mom would normally do, but since Mark's not a huge fan, and I'm kind of lukewarm on it, is some, we'll also use like shredded green lettuce. Like that could be another thing you add to this, but since we're not. Like, oh, in this dish too? Yeah. I know that's pretty common in um, the other noodle. Yeah. Oh no, uh, oops, I did it again. You said the band word, now you are a turd. Oh, baby, I'm a turd. Baby, drink that wine right now. Because you hey. said the band word. I'm cheers. He's One shot. That. I should just said Bumble away. Why did I say noodle? Ah! Sorry about it. Sorry, not sorry. I didn't even try to trick you, though. You know that, right? I wasn't trying to trick you. You just said it. I can't help it if you say it. I mean, deep inside, it might have been a trick. It's fine. Triple S did four laughing emojis. Then it's worth it. It's worth it. It's worth it. You know what? Wine's healthy for you, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just mixing this up. So. I interrupted myself. I was adding this meat loaf pieces in, and then I said the freaking band word. <laughs> just the way you say it makes it funnier. Okay, I know you want to do first bite. Can we just do one me biting, and then that's yeah, it? Yeah, that's yeah, it. yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. You know, now you know all the effort that goes. Like literally, multitasking here. Shorts, you know? even though it's thirty seconds, how much content is it? It's usually like five minutes worth. So that's just how it is. Let me get a little real ready too. Okay, ready. Mmm, ooh, spicy. <laughs> oh my god, it's so good. Oh my god, it's so good. I love adding spicy to this because bunyu is usually the broth is on the Kind of like on the red side because of the tomato and the anato, um, you know, the other seasoning that goes in this. So psychologically, I'm like, is it going to be spicy? Because a lot of Korean stewed or soup dishes, if it's red, it's supposed to be spicy. But it's not that spicy. So you, if you add your own spice, like, I feel like the redness and the spice goes really well together. Mmm. Oh, oh, that little bit goes a long way with the Thai chili pepper, huh? Oh, it's really good. I'm going to say this is so much better than getting it at a restaurant. I'm getting oh. emotional right now. Uh -huh. I got to cook for my husband. My husband's enjoying my food. That's like, my culture. That's like one of the best kind of feelings, huh? Yeah. Mmm. Sorry I didn't make it earlier. The whole <laughs> the whole reason I also wanted to make it was like California, Southern California at least. I know other parts of California got a lot of rain, but we had like a few days of rain. So I was like, oh, this would be a nice like meal to have during the rain. And then of course, <coughs> it stopped raining today, but it rained a little bit today, so you're still good. Hmm. Yeah. Do you remember how big the tofu were before we added it in? Look how much bigger they became. Yeah. So let's see if James's theory is right. If I squeeze this with, oh, look at all that broth coming out. You can say soup now. <laughs> Mark did say soup. Yeah. Yeah. I already. Yeah, I already down my wine. Mm. But the tofu is so good. 
being soaked too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think the first time I made it though, like I actually made my own broth, which just to like kind of make myself more sane, I was like, we'll just use chicken broth and water, which is fine. But you can actually um, boil like pork spare, spare rib bones. And um, you just have to like uh, rinse it. Like you, you pour out the initial batch and then you do another batch and then you could drink uh, that soup or eat that soup rather. How come they don't have, you know, beef broth and chicken broth mm. you could buy at the market, but there isn't pork broth, is there? Huh? Mm -mm. Hmm. Oh my God, this tastes, I know I'm Vietnamese, but it tastes like a Vietnamese person made it. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, we should add Thai chili pepper on the wheel. Oh, no. Oh, the raw crab we got is not part of this dish, no. The raw crab we got, the way we eat it on that video, I feel like you should only eat it that way. Don't don't mess up with that. But yeah, there's a lot of different variations of this dish. Like like I mentioned earlier, you could add spare, spare ribs to this. Um, some places actually uh, put like soft shell crab in it. There's other places that put... Um, like escargot in it as well. So there's a lot of versions of it, but I kind of made like just a purest, like if I think of boom reel, this is what I think is in it. Admittedly though, the stewed tomatoes is my least favorite part, but you have to have it for boom reel. Now, if you don't like tomatoes, you could probably leave it out, right? Yeah. But it actually gives that little like acidic kick. Yeah. And you know what they say like with food is like it needs to be sweet, it needs to be savory, and it needs to have acid. The tomatoes acid in here. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm sorry to sweat. Julie, we don't have blood cubes in here, but that's pretty a common dish to add into uh, Bumbleway Way and also this dish. Hi, Laura B. Laura Bumbrio. <clears throat> How is Korean uh, Laura BBQ? <laughs> oh, is that what they needed? The Yeah, they're having for a barbecue. Thanks for them. Right. Invite us next time and then we'll do our Monday Night Live together. Mm. Uh, <clears throat> she said delish ready for more soju cartwheels <coughs> abu we actually got gifted these from brenda i don't think she's in the chat right now she might be traveling but amazon aren't they adorable look at that corey welcome to the live stream we're just grubbing on our dinner. I, I think this I'm going to shower tonight because I'm like sweating really, really good. This is really good. Oh, good. I'm glad you enjoy yeah. it. Mm, I have more of this too. <laughs> I think we can definitely make four more bowls total. So I four hope you're ready bowls. for... We oh, can yeah. eat this for dinner tomorrow. <laughs> Mm. Actually, the wine works with this. Mm. I think it works really well. Do you notice that your rice is tastier these days, Julie? Oh, because of the cuckoo. The thing is, though, I feel like a lot of people don't like bumbrio, so it's like, I know how to make a dish that a lot of people, that I feel like they don't really think of it as, like, their top. 
I know Linda su- said she liked it. Were you surprised because when I, the first time I ever had this dish several years ago, and the first time I had it was actually with James. Yeah. I didn't even remember where, but um, I said, well, I I, this might be my favorite Vietnamese noodle dish. Mm-hmm. It's just so different in terms of flavor from the other ones that we have, too. So it's like, hmm. so many good slurves. Yes, pardon us. And Meg says, that looks so yummy. Hey, my faves. Hope you guys are having a great month. It's great. It's officially great. Uh, I love Bumbrio. Good. We're in good company. Thank you so much. Oh, it's so good. Ooh, a nice shower and then watch the last two episodes of Singles and Pearl. I don't I don't think there's a better way to end the day. Was, maybe dessert. I was planning to do some laundry, but maybe not today. Oh. I can rewear my underwear if needed. No. <laughs> I wasn't gonna do our underwear. Oh, I'm like I'm like a hot mess right now. Look at how sweaty I am. Now, what uh, what Latin dish would you request us to make? Does James Opa ever do laundry? No, because I did it. No, the closest I've done is like Mark forgot to like turn on some or like he told me like what setting to turn it on, and even that was a tall order. So he's like, never again. If we ever had children, I would definitely do whatever I could to introduce them to as many foods as possible so that they could eat and enjoy as much food. People who like spicy food, did you always like it even as a kid or is it more of a recent thing? Because for me, my mom said even as a kid, I wanted things really spicy. Mm. That's good that you could eat spicy young. <clears throat> so I never really understood where like some of our friends who, who have like young kids, like, oh, like... You know, Jimmy can't have that because it has spice in it. But it was like, you know, I don't know, like Taco Bell hot sauce. I don't know, hot sauce. Mm. But I forget that things are really spicy to kids who haven't developed like that. Oh, yeah. I even made the noodles right, and I always had struggle with noodles too. No, the noodles are perfect. Um, the broth's perfect. The the meat ball, mm-hmm. the roux is perfect. Yeah, thank you. Oh! <coughs> This is the hottest I felt in a long time. It's been really cold. I've been wearing sweatpants at home. That's how cold it's been. I never wear sweatpants. But I'm actually sweating. I can't wait to take like a nice hot shower after this. By the way, keep liking the video. Who knows? We might be able to do one more wheel spin before the stream's over. Marianne says, I've always liked spice since I was young, especially when my mom used to make lao papaya salad. They say if it's not spicy, it's not good. Yeah. I mean, oh, that could be spicy. That could be real spicy. Yeah. Like papaya salad. Laura, I will send you the. Um, we should just make it together. I'll sh- I'll show you, and then. But I did film a short. I don't I don't know how in depth it's going to be though. It might just be like this is everything I did, or. But I actually, I think I um I put the link to the recipe I used um, in the description. Or you can come over for lunch tomorrow. 
Actually, I'm not going to be home. Are you gone all day tomorrow? Like four hours. Ooh. Like 10 to 2. Oh. Max says, you guys should try to make arroz con pollo Cuban style the best style in my opinion. Mm. <coughs> Mikey is here. Hi, Mikey. Happy New Year. Came last minute in life. That's what we love. You don't have to be here for the whole hour and 30. We just want you to drop by, say hello, drop a comment, drop a like, say we're beautiful. And that's I'm it. Full. I'm pretty, I mean, I'm going to finish the rest of the broth. My favorite part of a lot of dishes is actually the broth. Yep. I thought that's why you actually like this dish, huh? Because hmm. the broth is like light. Yeah. It's seafood, but not like so seafood forward either. No. It's just very clean taste. Actually, we got this bowl a couple years ago. When James made this dish mm. um, last time. Saw your raw crab looked amazing. Yes, you should try it. Laura, what's in the black bowl? It's this shrimp sauce, which I I think we, we talked at one point, and I can't remember if you like this or not. It's a very, very I think Jeff fun. is okay with it, very but I don't remember if you're a fan of it. You know, I want to say that um, for the raw crab, like maybe we do like a build trip. Hey, do you want to try eat? But you're you don't know how or where. Let's meet up to like I don't know like Crab House in K Town or something. Ooh. And then uh, we all order and then we eat it together. That would be fun. Yeah. Right now, Meg, I think the bowls are more beautiful than me and Mark right now. Oh, actually, you're still beautiful, but I'm a sweaty mess. I'm not oh, the best. I'm hearing a little bit because I did add a lot of the. Is that good? You're getting emotional. <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, OMG, that fundraiser is happening again so soon. Oh, yes, February yes. 8th. Eddie, thank you for marking your calendar. Also, Julie, we're for reminding everyone. We I mean, don't know the theme yet, it, but... It was hair, we're, at work, we're the hair product, but we could choose our own theme. We should be like Britney or something okay. fun. Britney versus Christina. And for love is. <laughs> and we do all of their love songs. Oh, I don't know. We'll we'll think we'll, about. We'll it. think of a theme. Like it's cool that you guys are doing it, but I would prefer not doing Harry Potter again because y'all seen it. I so want something exciting it. and new. Although, like we still have the costume, we still have the freaking glasses and the wand. <laughs> we paid a lot of money for all those. We uh, have Harry Potter still. We have Harry Potter. <laughs> yes, take us raw crab tour. That sounds wrong, Mikey. <laughs> Raw crab tour. Raw crab tour. That would be cool though. If we ever got big enough, we could totally do something where it's like yeah, we, we get like out, a party bus. We rent out the whole restaurant. Yeah, we're not that big yet. They're like, who are you? So and Mark, if what? you're watching and not subscribed, subscribe. And Help then us get there. tomorrow we'll be big, and then we'll <laughs> we'll buy everyone raw crab and we'll take you to a place, or we just order everyone the one from Korea because Crab House in K Town is really good. Mm. But I love the one that we just had. Um, at Fernanda says, I would love to meet with you guys and have Korean barbecue at Mr. BBQ. We love that we'll spot. Do that. And we should do a meetup soon. Fernanda's the one who saw us passing on, yeah. on in Fuller. Are you local to here, Fernanda? Yeah, we haven't done a meetup since our 2018, 19, 19? 20. But I have low key fear of like, let's do a meetup and then no one shows up. Not even Mark. <laughs> I show up, I'm like, Mark's not even here. <laughs> That's funny. Are we at 100 likes? Okay, we can honor that last spin of the wheel. And then we're going to wrap up stream because we got a little bit more dishes. I got a shower, I got to watch Singles Inferno. And then who's do a watching face mask. Singles Inferno? And then call it a night, y'all. So. No, because like, yeah, you know, I don't know if like, uh, You've seen like our friends post on Instagram or anything, but right. people are asking who's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Head? I've been seeing that, so that's why I'm, I want, I'm so because as of yet, nothing. Nothing has transpired. It's just, just standard, so yeah. I wonder what's happening. So you did window. Yeah. Oh, you just do this. No? But we're not. You always do windows. I remember because I was gonna do that, but you always do this. 
You always do Windows. Oh. I remember because then. Is it sharing it now? Oh, no, it didn't share it. Yeah. See, that's what I remember seeing. But what happens if I do the other version? Th then we're not on. It doesn't. Oh, uh, we're not available. Okay. Ready? All right. Let's spin the wheel. Oh, okay. okay. What do we but even have? We oh, Vietnamese yogurt. Oh, <laughs> that's, that's in theme. Oh, okay. Maybe we, we can put add money to it. Oh, do, add whatever you want. I can okay. eat mine straight up, but okay. we don't have to eat a whole one. We'll just uh, split. split one. <laughs> yeah, we went to the market, and Mark, right when I was in the um, checkout aisle, he was like, should I pick up some Vietnamese yogurt? And I was like, yes, he says he loves this stuff. Freshly made, delicious. <laughs> Freshly made, delicious, no preservatives. That's what it says. It's tart. Is it going Inferno's worth watching? I think it's just entertaining. Um, I'm not saying it's like the best show in the world, but it's just so cute how, by Korean standards, on a dating show, what's considered like risque versus like if you watch uh, an American dating show, it's like totally, totally different. Well, like first base in America would be like, I don't know, you're not even in the stadium yet in Korea. Well, no, I mean, yes, it's like, you know, it's different. It's so entertaining, but James probably likes it for another reason. No, I don't. I don't. I'm not really into hot guys. Hot body. Are they hot? Hot body. Yes. Yeah. I see. No. I saw a jewel. Who? From your uh, coming okay. out of your mouth. No, that's not my jam. Our drunk DoorDash is here. McDonald's love you guys. Ooh. That's when you know you did your night right. Oh, Good night. <laughs> um, you scoop yours. Who, who likes Terrence House? Terrace House. Terrace House. Terrace House. <laughs> Terrace, uh, yeah, Terrace. The the Japanese reality show. So, like, you know how when that uh, was available on Netflix a few years ago and that somehow just got really popular because of how... non-american reality it was mm. it was like pull up. Yeah, yeah. it was like slower not yeah, like yeah. unnecessary drama so it's kind of like so singles for totally reminds me of something like a terrace house where it seems more um it's innocent real innocent, innocent. Real, i guess yeah barb don't fret at some point if it doesn't land on it i'm what? not going to tell you when but if it doesn't land on it we'll just, we'll just do, do it, it. Okay. Just do it. We love you either way. Thank you so much. We have it like literally right there. If you're like, we have it. Yeah, we have about. It, we have it ready to lose on standby right yeah. here. We got these little cute dessert bowls. These are cute. When did we get these? We got it. Oh, oh, it's good. What this? It's already sweet. But I will add. Just mm. a touch of honey. Girl, that ain't a touch. That's a smothering. Honey is the nectar of the gods. It's a little sweeter than it's, usual. It, yeah. This is sweeter than the last one you bought. Yeah. Uh, Should we make that grocery store our our, our grocery store? Because you know. I don't know how I feel about the security guy. Hmm. Spoiler. What? You can't say their jobs. What if someone didn't watch it? Huh? He said, I, I can't. You said someone's job on the show. So, like, that's a spoiler. Oh, oh we're on the show now? <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it to you the shot before you start. I'm done. No, I'm not a security guy. On the show? No, on the market. Oh, that. Oh, girl, what are you? You are you still thinking about the show? I thought we we're done talking about the show. No, five minutes what happened, ago. What happened with the security guard at the market? No, because wow. you said let's make this market mm. our go-to market, and I said mm, maybe, but I don't know how I feel about the security guy. Well, because they did like this Costco operation where they checked the receipt. I put it in the bag, and then when we were trying to leave, he wouldn't let us go out the door because James didn't remember where the receipt. I thought it was in my pocket, and then I at the end of the day, I was like, I. I just signed the thing and then um, you didn't remember. The, yeah. I thought I gave it back to the cashier or whatever. I don't know. Like, I guess I get confused on when you have to sign for 
like a credit card transaction versus when you don't? It, does it depend on the merchant? Yeah. Oh. But this order is good, huh? Yeah, it's really good. Yes, Do you please. remember where you grabbed it? Mm-hmm. CJ. So I guess a local bakery supplies the yogurt to that market. Mm-hmm. James also likes to put this in the freezer, don't you? Love it. I might put the other one in the freezer, actually. I prefer it. This is still good, though. Chris, without spoilers, says it was sad the way Terrace House ended. Did you watch the all the way to the ending? No, there's so many seasons. Like, I mean, after a while, I'm like, oh, gosh, like, I don't want to watch another episode because it's like, it just, it just feels like it just drags and drags mm-hmm. and drags. But, um, Triple S says, y'all should do a game night soon. I really enjoyed it last time. What games did we play? I guess Friday night, we used to play more games, right? Because Monday, oh, yeah. we... We did, we did the drinking game on Fridays. Maybe we should, like, commit to one Friday a month. Because literally, we've only done one since we ended it. <laughs> This is kind of cooling down my stomach from that pureed chili sauce you had earlier. I added a lot of that super spicy habanero sauce from brunch this morning. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It wasn't that spicy, did it? But I also didn't add that much. I added a lot Mm. to my dish. And it was good. But now it's later, like, when you, like, you know, slightly burp. Oh, you had that? Like, the spicy feeling. This... This is a good purchase. It makes it fun eating it. We should just eat our ice cream. Why do yeah, we why use it? Okay. Why do we use our little like Okay, because like when mom. we try to eat ice cream at home, like we don't want to eat like a lot of ice cream, just a little just a scoop or a scoop and a half, just to you know, wet our tongues with some good, delicious, creamy ice cream. So I usually just yeah, you know, as a good measurement of like not overeating ice cream, uh this- would use this bowl. This one is either the same size or smaller, right? Smaller. Probably the same size. Oh, Let's just use cuter. this because it's cute. Like it actually makes it feel less cheap than this plastic bowl. Uh that weird letter game, I can't remember the name, but it was time so much. I probably tapple. Yeah. Uh Donna oh. was answering too. Yeah. Tapple. Uh what's that game that you that us viewers play to and write words down? Oh. Oh, the song association game. What, what well, that, that they game? write the words down. Oh, that other one. Oh, sc- kind of like a categories, but yeah. online. Do you remember? Oh, we no. played that. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. I'm thinking of the actual board game. No, but we, did, we also. No, I know did. which one you're talking oh. about. That's just categories online. Yeah. We barely ever played that. That was a long time ago. We played that a lot, but it was a, I it bring that back. a long time ago. <laughs> what should, we should just add some like board game stuff as the wheel wedges. That just means you guys need to like the video more. Olivia is here saying, hi, uncles. Hi, Olivia. We're going to see you this weekend. <laughs> what is that? Yeah, let's do it together. I'm not good at this. What do I, where? Do you want to start? We, we need I, to go a little further, go further back. back. Oh, and I'm supposed to like pan the camera so that you can see before we leave. Because we're supposed to have, okay, what are we doing? You start. Here, you go this way. Oh. Yeah. I start? Yeah. And then I start again. <laughs> okay, wait, do it more fluid then. More fluid? Because, wait, is, what's, what's the better way to fold? Like this? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I'll go? Yeah. What are we doing? <laughs> Ow, <laughs> something cracked! No, wait, one more. Because I th- there's too long of a pause when it gets there. Oh, wanna, I want it like, 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 okay. like okay. we did it in real time. Yes, that's the best one. That's the best one so far. Okay, before we go, you tell me how far I need to go to just show you. Go to your left. I know my chair is in the way. Do you guys see Hanu? Hi, baby. That's your wine glass. Oh, he woke up. Hi, Hanu. Can people see him? Yeah. Hi, baby. He's been sleeping the whole time. Look! Here, it's time for your dinner. You want hamburger? 
there. Yeah, get in stream. We're gonna wrap things up. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, a comment, and check out one of our other videos. We love you all. Have a great rest of your week, and we'll see you next time.